Hey there, this is Carrie Dills, and I wanted to give you a quick run through of what a desktop server blueprint is and how you can use it to speed up your WordPress development. Uh, now, for starters, desktop server is basically, it includes uh, your database, uh, your, your database server, your PHP server. Um, so this would replace XAMP or MAMP or WAMP uh, and also, um, oh gosh, it's been so long since I didn't use desktop server, I forgot. Um, anyhow, it takes all of those things and encapsulates it in a beautiful little package for creating brand new WordPress startups, uh, WordPress installs from scratch. Uh, now blueprints, think of like your, your favorite WordPress, uh, configuration. So if you're a Genesis user, then you probably have the Genesis framework installed. Uh, maybe you have the simple social icons, plugins, like you've got your favorites, um, you go through and you set your permalinks to your preference. Just think of all those things you do in the first 15 or 20 minutes of setting up your WordPress site. You can save all that into a blueprint and then use it for creating new WordPress installs. And it just saves you all that much more time. So, uh, on my utility pro theme, I have a professional package and it includes a desktop server blueprint. Uh, that has Utility Pro in it. So I'm gonna go through that install process and show you what it looks like. Uh, so I've already got desktop server up and running and I want to create a new development website. And first I'm gonna get the site name and this is just, I'll just call it a tutorial. And for the blueprint, I have uh, of my available blueprints, I've got one called Utility Pro Blueprints. And uh, just to show you quickly where that's coming from, uh, if you, uh, if you go to your finder and you've got, uh, let's see. oh, I can't type because of the pressure. Oh wait, nope, that's not it. Okay. It's going to be under my applications. Let's go look at, okay. XAM, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, which desktop server installs for you. Okay. And then under that where desktop server is installed, there's a folder called blueprints. And you can see I've got these uh, one, two, three, four, plus this blank. Uh, so if I come over here, I'm going to see those exact four, one, two, three, four, plus that blank. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to select the Utility Pro Blueprint and say Create. And in the time it's taking me to say the sentence, my new website is set up. So I'm going to click Next. And uh, there, there it is. It's set up at tutorial.dev. Uh, so I'm going to head over to tutorial.dev, which is a local uh, development site, which means I can mess things up and that's just okay. Uh, so what we have here, if we go to uh, log in, and if you happen to have purchased the uh, Utility Pro theme, then the, the login for that is uh, test and test, real high security. Um, okay, so let's look at what we've got going on here. Uh, if you come straight to appearance themes, uh, you'll see that Utility Pro is already installed. Now it's saying broken because the parent theme Genesis isn't installed. And the whole reason I didn't do that is because Genesis is not mine to distribute. Even though I legally could, I choose not to. Uh, so let's just go ahead and upload Genesis. And so once you go through this first process, like say with this blueprint, and we'll do this at the end of the tutorial, but you could save this out as your updated blueprint. I uh, don't want to activate Genesis. So let's just go back to themes. Now there's utility pro and I'm just going to say activate. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Now, if I go under settings, I've got my uh, permalinks. Uh, I've already got that set up like I like it because that was part of my blueprint. And I've already got the plugins that I like for this theme uh, installed. I've got Better Font Awesome, Genesis Accessible, WP Accessibility, and a couple of others that I just particularly like. Uh, now, one pitfall of blueprints is they're a snapshot in time. So it's, things will get out of date. Uh, so since we're going to create a fresh blueprint off of this blueprint, uh, let's go ahead and get everything up to date.
And additionally, as part of this blueprint, I've already gone and set up all your basic uh, widget areas uh, for you. Um, now, since the utility theme wasn't active at first, I've got to go redrag those, uh, redrag those into the world. But um, just as an example, boop. Okay, so those are just a, a couple of basics here. Let's throw a footer widget in there. Um, Genesis E is extended. I'm just putting a fake URL in here. You know, I guess I should have shown you what this looked like before I did any of this. But the moment I installed uh, or activated, excuse me, utility, what I got on the front side is this theme setup already here. And you know what, let's switch those guys around. Um, so you've got your, uh, the blue area up here is your utility bar. Uh, here's your header. Uh, of course, header, rigid white, rigid, oh my gosh, widget, right? Nothing is in there yet. Um, and the demo, which I'll show you over here at cdills.com, demo.cdills.com slash utility pro. Um, I've got a little search widget up there, so you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, anyway, so I've got the basic areas filled out, and then uh, from there, you're ready to go. You're ready to slap some content in there and start creating a theme for a client. Um, now, to bring this all to a beautiful conclusion, I'm going to take what I've got here, uh, and let's, you know what, let's say that I want to, I want to start with a post that's I like this post in every single website I do. It's just a little present for my client. Not really. I'm going to publish it. Okay. So now when I create this blueprint, that post will be on there. Because the blueprint, the blueprint grabs everything. Uh, so let's, let's make it, and then I'll show you under the hood. Um, oops, hi, Diane. Uh, okay. So let's go back over to Desktop Server. And I want to say, let's export a site. I want to export a WordPress website. And it's from uh, this tutorial.dev. And I'm going to export it as uh, a zip file. And we'll just call it my utility pro. Because now I have created it and owned it. Uh, OK, and then I'm going to say next. Uh, it's going to ask you for any special database login that you have. Uh, in this case, I'm just using the default WordPress, um, uh, or excuse me, the, yeah, the, the default. So I'm not setting up anything fancy here. I'm just letting a desktop server uh, figure those things out for me. So I'm going to say next. And here's my file name. And then it's going to show me uh, where it's going to output that. Uh, you can change the location here if you want. Um, let's go ahead and say, let's put it right in that blueprints folder where we've already been hanging out and where it needs to go eventually anyways. Xam, boop, and blueprints and select. Okay. Encourage search engine visibility. Of course, that's going to be under your settings reading section. Um, and purge post paste page revisions. Um, you know, those are completely up to you. And uh, along with this custom scrubbing options, it, uh, if this is your starting point, you may want to say, no, I don't want to encourage search engine visibility. I'm in development mode. But if you're in development mode, you're probably on your local machine. So that doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, okay, so we're going to click next. And in the time it's taking me to tell you this sentence, it's taking and creating that blueprint, which I can now find on my, uh, in my file structure um, under blueprints. And there it is, my utility pro blueprint. Uh, and I'm going to open that sucker up and we're going to look at what's in there. Okay, so we've got uh, our HD access file, our SQL database, 
And then the rest of this right here is just what your standard WordPress uh, install files. So that's really all that is, is just going in and setting up, um, let's go look at our WP config. And it's going ahead and setting up this basic uh, information for us. Now, if you really wanted to pimp it out, you could go in, you know, customize your table prefix, always leave debug and true because you're going to be in development mode. Uh, you could, whatever your standard kind of starting point is, that's what you want for a blueprint. Um, so there, there's a long and short of both using a blueprint and creating a blueprint using desktop server. Have fun.